We are live? I think so. Good afternoon. Welcome to Hemsloyd in our new Hemsloyd Live Studios. This is our first attempt at uh, broadcasting to you live and hopefully in your home or wherever you may be today from here in beautiful downtown Lindsborg, Kansas, little Sweden, USA. Uh, thanks for joining us today. Today will hopefully be the first of many uh, Facebook Live events that we do here from the Hemsloyd. We're planning on doing this the first and third Thursdays of every month uh, at one o'clock, or excuse me, two o'clock uh, Central Time. Uh, that would be uh, three o'clock Eastern, one o'clock Mountain, and 12 noon Pacific Time. Uh, so uh, hopefully, uh, if you enjoy your time with us today, you'll join us in um, in the future uh, our next event will be let's see this is the 20th so the next event will be the first uh thursday of, of may and i'm not sure what the date of that is but uh, but anyway uh thanks for joining us today uh in case we haven't met my name is corey peterson i'm the owner or co-owner of the hemsloyd along with my wife denise who is not here today um, we have uh, owned the store since 2011 the Hemsloyd was founded in 1984 by neighborhood friends. Ken Swisher and Ken Shugren's families came together and started our company back in 1984. It was centered all around the dollar horse sign that Ken Shugren used to make out of his home, which I was a, a neighborhood brat that ran around the neighborhood. And uh, um, I remember to this day seeing him uh, painting and, and on his horses out of his basement and garage. Little did I know that he would start a business around it and uh, years down the road that, that we would own it. It's, uh, it's pretty fun how that's happened. Uh, ironically enough, uh, my youngest daughter is getting married this July uh, to Ken Shugren's grandson. So it's kind of gone full circle and uh, we're looking for, uh, forward to uh, my daughter becoming part of the Shugren family and having um, and his grandson part of ours as well. Um, but uh, anyway, um, today uh, we're going to just give you a little idea of what we're hoping to do down the road here in our studios and uh, maybe even do some remotes uh, later. But uh, uh, we'll give you a little idea about the store again and then uh, talk about anything that uh, we can think of that's Scandinavian nature um, through... Uh, We'll also uh, give you some highlights or feature some of our products that we have to offer. And as we go down the road, if you have anything that you would like to hear from us, please just let us know in the comments or uh, just give us a call sometimes. We're always available, well not always, uh, 8.30 to 5 Central Time to answer phone calls as well and, and email would be another possibility for us. Today, if you're wondering, uh, with me today is Karna Peterson, no relation. Uh, but Karna has been with us for almost three years now. She's our catalog e-commerce manager. We're thrilled to have her with us. Karna has a lot of Scandinavian or Swedish uh, background and, and uh, sure appreciates the Scandinavian traditions. And we welcome you to the broadcast today. You. And you'll probably be seeing more of her than me in the future, but uh, maybe we'll be teaming up for a while as well. But uh, I'm glad to have her, or we're glad to have her part of the Hemsloyd family, and maybe this first broadcast, if we could just hear a little bit about yourself, Karna. I know you've been to Sweden a few times, and uh, your family's Swedish, so what? what? Well, let's see. I um, was born and raised here in Lensborg, and both sides of my family are Swedish, so I'm a third generation um, Swedish-American, and have been to Sweden four times, fortunately, but twice with the high school group and twice as a leader of that same group as an adult. So I um, have always loved the Swedish uh, products, the um, traditions, of course, Sweden itself, and uh, love talking to our customers. Great. So, so when you went to Sweden, what, what did you enjoy about Sweden? Oh, you know, that is really difficult to answer. I really Remember the uh, Archipelago um, Islands, south of Stockholm, we had a couple of picnics there that were just just stunning. I mean, you, you just can't even imagine or describe the, the beauty of that area. And then I also remember Vastervik um, area, um, and that was one of my favorite um, dances that we did, the old-fashioned Vastervik dance, as well as the fiddle music that went along with that. 
It's two of my favorite places. Great. Well, we're my wife and I are discussing now whether we can make it back to Sweden. Uh, they have a market every year and uh, twice a year, and we haven't been since before COVID, so we're trying to decide if we can make that work. But uh, uh, it's a beautiful country, and uh, many of you probably have visited, but if you can't, we definitely encourage you to do so. It's uh, a beautiful country, and I don't know if growing up in Lindsborg, but it, it was funny in our time there that we just felt like we were almost home. Yeah. It was just, you had a real uh, at home feel uh, uh, with our visit, and uh, hopefully we'll get a, to go back sometime soon. All right, um, well, today we do, as I mentioned, we'll talk a little bit about uh, the store, which we have already, but uh, each time we have this Facebook Live, we will feature a few of our products. And um, I guess, what uh, products do we have today that we'd like to, to Well, uh, I brought three things today, and two of them are, are about Fika. And um, I would first ask how many of you, and we'll watch your comments and see what you have to say. We want to make this as interactive as possible, but um, do you... Do you do fika every day? And if you do, what is that like for you? We'd love to know what kind of treats you have with your coffee. And is it at work? Is it at home? Is it at a retirement community? Um, just tell us a little bit more about your fika. And to go along with that, we have this mug. It's a, a big 17 ounce mug um, with lots of just really fun uh, pictures of treats and tea and coffee and other beverages um, that uh, we're selling. It's on discount today. And right inside the rim, it says, uh, Fika is a Swedish word that means taking a break for coffee and a bite to eat. But really, it's much more than that. And I was doing a little bit of reading yesterday, and it was saying that uh, Fika should never be alone. Uh, having a cup of coffee and a snack at your desk is not Fika, and that should not be counted. It needs to be with other people, and it's taking a break from your daily routine, whether it be work or home, whatever you're doing, and... Uh, you know, getting to know your neighbors, your co-workers, and just um, connecting a little bit. All right, I got to interrupt. This being the very first thing we promote, and we work pretty hard at the Hemsloid, and we don't take time for Fika. Are you saying that maybe we should have mm -hmm. time for Fika in our own business? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. All right, I kind of suspected that might be an ulterior motive. But yeah. That's, that's a good idea, and we'll... Uh, we'll have to take that under advisement. Yeah, especially we have a bakery just down the street. Oh, we great can bakery. That in. Yes. Um, I guess the big uh, company Volvo does that. They they take a break and everybody gets to know each other. All right, I got hoodwinked right in front of everyone else. That's great, but we'll see what we can do. We might have to do that. Yeah, so this is the Fika mug. It's uh, number 55955. Normally it's $34.95 and now it's, uh, today it's $13.98. And there's a couple of different ways you can order our products. Um, well, three. We've got the uh, brick and mortar street uh, store here in Lindsborg, Kansas, on the main street downtown. Uh, we've got a website, hemsloyd.com. And if you're on that website, you can just type in that item number and that um, item will come up and you can see the sale price there and order as many as you like. And then thirdly, you can give us a call. And uh, we're here from 8.30 until 5 p.m. Central Day, Central Time, um, Monday through Friday. And during the holiday season, we're here Saturdays as well and extended hours um, every day as well. Maybe put in a plug for our store. Our gift shop's open seven days a week. Yes. Um, 8.30 to 5.30, uh, Monday through Saturday. And Sundays were open, open 12 noon until 4 p.m. So that's the Fika mug. The next thing is um, a box of um, three pairs of Swedish socks. And uh, there's three pairs in here and they're kind of fun. They're mismatched, which I learned recently is becoming quite the rage. Um, so if you accidentally can't match your socks, it's okay. It's, it's, it's the thing now. So, for example, this pair here is um, blue and yellow, and the socks are uh, Viking helmet and some Swedish meatballs. Another pair in the box is blue and green. One of the socks is some sky, sun, and clouds, and then the other sock is a midsummer maypole. So they match, but they're not exactly matching. And then the third pair in the fun little box is the pink and blue one. 
And this is all about Fika. It's got your coffee cup and then your something sweet to eat. So those nice, come. Nice bright colors. Yeah, they're really fun. And one size fits most on those. Uh, they don't come in different sizes. They're very, very stretchy. So this is the box they come in and they're just packaged um, nice and neat in there and they just make a really nice gift. Um, don't forget Mother's Day is coming up, so that might be an idea for um, who, can, who can't always use socks, right? Here's the number on that. 30736 is the number and they're normally $32.95 and on sale for $19.77. Has anyone purchased these socks? Has anyone tried them? We'd love to see your comments. Okay, and then the last thing we have is some um, t-shirts. We've got the Far More t-shirt and we've got the More More t-shirt. And of course, Far More is father's mother and More More is mother's mother. So these would be great for uh, Mother's Day as well. So two different item numbers. You might want to hold this one. Oh, <laughs> sorry. sorry. I'll, I'll hold one over here and see if we can get a little closer. There you go. You can see the, maybe. There we go. There you go. Shirts sure are. Is it a cotton blend or is it? Yeah, it is. A, it's a real soft cotton blend. And the numbers are 3184 and 3183, each 1995. And they come in sizes uh, ranging from small to 3X. So a nice range of sizes there. So if you want to learn about other products um, similar to these or different that you want to learn more about, please just send us a text or an email or give us a call. Or if you can comment on this live video, we'd love to, we'd love to know about you know, products that you'd like to learn more about or just different topics. Um, I thought we could do some things like on cooking, some Swedish, um, Swedish pancakes, for example, Swedish meatballs. Um, we might uh, take you downstairs to see our um, artists. Um, that are down there painting on the, the dollar horse signs like you can see behind us. Uh, we sell a lot of those all over the country, all, all over, over the world. The world mm -hmm. yes. So uh, this show, we want it to be what you want to see. So if you have ideas or thoughts, um, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Great. All right. Well, uh, how, how are we doing? Do we have, uh, how many visitors do we have today, Ann? Who's, by the way, off camera is Ann Bruce, who's helping us out, one of our Fabulous employees that we appreciate very much. 12 of us. 12 million? 12 million. Oh, 12. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, well, thank you again for joining us. Um, um, I think maybe uh, just real quickly, I'll put another plug in for our gift shop. Many of you have been to Lindsborg, Kansas. Some of you may be here right now. I'm not sure uh, who's with us, but uh, uh, Lindsborg is a very unique community on the plains of Kansas. We were settled by Swedish immigrants back in the 1860s, and we've really tried hard over the decades to keep our street, Swedish traditions in place. And uh, We celebrate about everything Swedish that you can think of here in Lindsborg. We just uh, finished a few weeks ago celebrating Waffledagen, where we had people coming from all over the Midwest to come to Lindsborg and celebrate the waffle. Uh, who would have thought that? But it was a great day and everybody is having a good time. But uh, our next event coming up will be, uh, as far as our Scandinavian part of Lindsborg, we have Midsummer coming uh, mm -hmm. in June. Uh, prior to that, we have a little fun event, or a quirky event that we call Lindsborg in Bloom. It's kind of, I call it the hippy dippy happy day. Um, uh, that will be coming up next, not this weekend, but the weekend following, the same weekend as Bethany College graduation. But that's a lot of fun where we just have just have random fun around town uh, with a 60s or 70s theme. Mm -hmm. you bring your tie-dye shirt and you'll fit right in. But, but Midsummers will be the third Saturday of, of June. I don't have the date in front of me. 17th. 17th, mm -hmm. thank you. And uh, we'll be celebrating that in the park, our, our South Park. Uh, we have a Swedish pavilion there that was actually mm -hmm. part of the World's Fair back in the early 1900s. Uh, that will be the backdrop of all the, uh, the celebration or a lot of what, what we do. Um, we have a lot of uh, our Swedish dancers, or both our adult Swedish, both Danslag, our adult Swedish dancers and our high school group will entertain. Mm -hmm. Even some opportunity for uh, uh, 
crowd interactions, so you'll yeah. be able to get out and do some Swedish dancing with them if you'd like. And uh, during the day, we'll have arts and crafts. I don't know why I'm saying this. Karn is one of our uh, committee members of, of the of the Midsummers. I am not, but I'm just jumping in. I hope that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. But um, we'll have some crafts and food, and uh, we'll have a coop tournament. Well, this will be about the 10th or 11th year of uh, having a coop tournament. We've had players come from as far away as the upper Midwest to play. It's a lot of fun. Um, and we'll have some, like I said, we'll have some food. We do have a beverage garden this year, I believe, that mm -hmm. you can get a cold beverage as well. And uh, it's a fun day for, for those that can make it. Uh, but You're that'll be for, the... Forgetting one thing, the oh. newest addition to the festival. I think I, I meant to forget that, actually. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm really scared. This year, for the first time, we're actually going to have a stinky fish eating contest. And I'm probably saying it wrong, but it's surströming. 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 Uh, someone will help us with that. It's a, st a stinky fish yeah. that's a, a delicatessen, a delicacy in Sweden, and uh, to be eaten a certain way. But if it's not eaten or opened a certain way, um, it can be a challenge. And we're going to see how many people sign up for that challenge. And um, maybe next week we'll show you some of the prizes that we've lined up for that stinky fish eating contest. Yeah, most of us grew up thinking lutefisk was about <laughs> as stinky and as it can get, but sir strumming, uh, I haven't tried it yet uh, or smelled it yet, but uh, I think it uh, makes uh, lutefisk look like the minor leagues, so yes. we'll we'll see how it goes, but that should be fun, yeah. and uh, I, um, I think Kim Sloyd will be sponsoring that event, so uh, hopefully our liability insurance is paid for and everybody will have a good time. But, <laughs> Uh, that will be exciting. If, if you're not familiar with Sir Strumming, just uh, I encourage you to Google or go to YouTube and search for uh, fermented fish or Sir Strumming. And there's a lot of fun videos out there. My favorite one is uh, with Henry Winkler and uh, William Shatner and George Foreman and Terry Bradshaw. And I think there's somebody else, but they had a show on NBC for a while, but they tried it, and it's quite entertaining. I, I must admit, that was the first time I had learned anything about Sir Strumming, and I was literally crying by the end of the video. It was so, so funny, but yeah. um, it was good. But try that uh, if you haven't heard of it. But, uh, oh, all right, what else do we have to cover? Oh, plugging the store again. If you do come to town, uh, like I said, we're open uh, almost every day. The only days of the year that we're not open at the store is on Christmas Day, New Year's Day, and Thanksgiving Day, but we're here every other day. Uh, Susan Fry is our manager there, and uh, she and her staff will be glad to help you when you're in town. We'd love to see you if you can make it. Uh, I did ask Susan what she's got going down there uh, currently, and she mentioned that we uh, have some books that just came in. Mm -hmm. uh, the popular um, uh, Flicker Ricka Dicka books, uh, many of you probably already have some of those, but we have some new editions of those, along with the Snip Snap Snur and the Red, and this one's the, and the Red Shoes. Uh, those are available uh, in our gift shop now, and I don't know, I have to I'm a plead ignorance. I don't know if we have those online or not, but uh, uh, just call if you're interested in those, and we'll get you fixed up yeah, as well. Yeah. But uh, uh, the gift shop, uh, we have a lot of items down there, a lot that we do not have in our catalog or on our website just because of the sheer number of them. But uh, it's hopefully be worth a, a stop if you do come to town. And uh, we also have, uh, if you want some exercise, we have some quad some quadricycles and you can pedal around town, see the sights. So uh, between, oh, and then you mentioned the wood workshop. Yeah. And we do have woodworkers and artists that paint traditional Swedish uh, handcrafted items uh, those are they are set up in case you haven't been here they're set up so you can see them working which is a lot of fun and they like to interact and and talk to our guests as well so uh, a lot to see and do here at the store as well as in Lindsborg we can spend another half hour just talking about things to see and do in Lindsborg but maybe we'll do that another time mm -hmm. but maybe even bring Holly our CBB director in to talk to us or something yeah. but uh, that's Anyway, that's just a little bit about Lindsborg and the gift shop. Uh, you've seen a few items that we have to offer. Uh, again, I encourage you to go to our website, uh, which is hemsloyd.com, and hemsloyd is H-E-M-S-L-O-J-D.com. You don't have to worry about the lots and the, mm -hmm. uh, on the website, but uh, that will take you to our, our, our e-commerce site. If you like to read, we do have a, a catalog that we still publish. Every October, we publish a new catalog that has 40 pages, 
packed full of great items. So if you are not on the list to, to receive a catalog, just give us a call and we'll get you added to that. We'll send you one out right now, as a matter of fact. Mm -hmm. uh, the catalog's good for a year, so uh, what's in there, we have had some uh, items we will run out of by now, uh, but um, most of those items that are in the catalog we still have and uh, honoring most of the prices, I think. So it's kind of hard to do this time of year or this in this day and age with the things going up all the time. But, uh, but anyway, if you'd like to have a catalog, just let us know. And, uh, and Carta and Ann are hard at, hard at work right now getting ready for our next one, which mm -hmm. will be coming out in October. So mm -hmm. uh, we're excited about that as well. So. Anyway, anything else that we should uh, cover this first day? We kept you 20 minutes. I hope that wasn't too long, but uh, we'll we'll refine this. I think our our Facebook Lives will be uh, kind of a work in progress. We'll kind of evolve versus create. So each each week may be a little bit different, but uh, hopefully we'll uh, provide you with some entertainment to, to, to get you through your day and give you a little Scandinavian fix while you're either hopefully... If you're at work, just keep the volume down so you don't get in trouble. But uh, if you're home and join us, uh, or you can watch at night, I think you can uh, reach us later. at any time. And we might remind them of when we're going to do this. First and third First Thursdays and third Thursday. at 2 o'clock Central Time. Yes. So and the next one will be the whatever the first, first week of Thursday May. of May is. And I'm sorry, I don't have that in front of me. Well, okay. All right. Well, thank you, Carna. Good job. And uh, thank you for joining us and Ann for your help behind the camera. And uh, we look forward to talking to you again in a couple of weeks. And uh, if you're in Lensburg, hopefully we'll see you before. Thank right. you again. See ya. Talk Bye. to Mickey.